Hello folks, today we're doing our 6 plus 1 writing trait of organization. So let's get started here. Organization. Organization is the what unifies your writing. So organization is the internal structure of the work. A piece with good organizational Organization begins with a clear purpose and creates anticipation in the reader. Then the events proceed logically. Things to know about organization, the trait of organization. An inviting introduction gets your reader started and anticipating what is to come. Thoughtful transitions link key points. Sequencing should be logical purposeful and effective. Pacing, you should speed up if you want to have sort of a wide view or, or slow down if you want a focused close-up view. And you should have your pacing under control and not spend your entire time in wide view or in close-up view, but mix the two well um, so that your organization makes sense and a satisfying conclusion wraps it all up tips to developing organization first don't forget your five paragraph essay you don't always have to follow the five paragraph format strictly because we want you to be creative sometimes you might find a way a more inventive effective way to structure something but using the five paragraph format is a good place to start um, you should follow a structure that has a beginning a middle and an end and I say that sounds pretty obvious but uh, you'd be surprised how many essays and writing pieces I see that one of those three parts is not developed very well so always have a beginning a middle and an end tips for a good introduction which would be your beginning uh, you could do a thought-provoking question that's a good way to draw uh, your reader in you could preview the conclusion so that you pique the readers interest you could tell a funny story or personal anecdote and that can set the tone whether it be humorous or inviting whatnot uh, you can introduce the main points so the reader knows where the work will be going you can have a dramatic or eye-opening statement or fact that can shock the reader into wanting more you can have an expert quote and that can establish credibility or you can come up with a creative angle that no one has seen before and that can really get the readers attention ways to organize the middle of your paper you can organize by space so for example if you were describing your room or the classroom you might start with the big items that leave a distinct impression and work your way down to the smaller items or the smaller details that's organizing it by space by time you can sequence your events chronologically or in the order that they happened or you can employ creative use of flashback flash forwards uh, to wrap around your time you could organize by content meaning you might layer your topics by order of importance or you might break your ideas into subcategories and have your paragraphs develop each category or you can organize by perspective and this is very common in the persuasive essay format where you introduce or you organize your ideas by which viewpoint they support and your conclusion should tie everything together 
in expository writing you recap what you've said as sort of a reminder in narrative writing or fiction you tie up any loose ends give us the solution to the conflict things like that don't leave the reader with questions or feeling unsatisfied this is the final impression you will leave don't rush your conclusion just to get finished this is very common if you don't leave enough time to edit your paper a lot of people rush through the conclusion and just say here it is I'm done turn it in um, your ending is your last impression on the reader and you want to spend the time in writing and revising to get it right so, so that is your six plus one writing trait of organization in a nutshell it's not the most important trait but it's certainly a key aspect to helping your writing make sense so enjoy that lesson and I will see you next time